India is a land of ancient temples, with a vast and captivating history spanning thousands of years. Many of these magnificent structures harbor mysteries that have puzzled historians and travelers for generations. From puzzling architecture and missing elements to legends of divine interventions, these temples intriguing stories to tell. In this video, we uncover the top five most mysterious temples of India that remain shrouded in mystery even today. With bewildering features like seemingly impossible carved pillars, abrupt interruptions in construction, and connections to the world of spirits, these temples have more than meets the eye. So get ready to have your mind boggled and imagination stirred as we reveal astonishing facts about the unsolved mysteries of Indian temples. From the perplexing to the paranormal, this is a journey filled with architectural marvels, myths, and spine-tingling connections to the supernatural world. Hit subscribe and click the notification bell before we set out to uncover some of India's best-kept secrets. The Konark Sun Temple, built around 1250 AD by King Narsimha Deva I of the Eastern Ganga Dynasty, is a stunning example of architectural mastery. Konark, derived from the Sanskrit words Kona, corner, and Arka, sun, houses this 13th century marvel that sits 35 km northeast of the Vital Odisha city, Puri. Recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Konark Sun Temple's unique structure is designed as a symbolic chariot with 24 elaborately carved wheels pulled by seven horses. At the temple's entrance, each massive wheel measures 9 feet 9 inches in diameter, with eight spokes across. Intricate miniature carvings and sculptures adorn the temple walls, representing fine artistic craftsmanship. The mysteries surrounding the magnificent 13th century Konark Sun Temple have intrigued historians and visitors for centuries. This temple in Odisha, featuring elaborate stone carvings depicting the sun god Surya's chariot pulled by horses, still has secrets that remain unexplained. One fascinating legend involves the temple's construction and the chief architect Bishu Maharana. As the deadline was missed, the king threatened Maharana and his 1,200 workers with death. Suddenly a boy named Dharmapada appeared, claiming to be Maharana's son, and took responsibility to appease the king's wrath. He sacrificed himself by jumping off the temple into the Chandrabhaga River. People believe Dharmapada was an incarnation of Surya himself, which is why rituals have not been performed at Konark since. Another intriguing temple feature was the suspended airborne statue of the sun god, seemingly achieved through magnets. Experts theorize a giant 52-ton lodestone magnet was installed, creating a magnetic field that kept the heavy Surya idol afloat like magic. Over time, the temple's relocation inland from the seashore may have impacted this magnetic effect, adding to the temple's intrigues or its functionality as a sophisticated timekeeping device. The chariot wheels actually serve as sundials with their shadows carefully marking the passage of time throughout the day. Some stories suggest the Portuguese sailors who attacked Konark removed the lodestone and sun god idol to prevent interference with their ship compasses. Other tales blame the 16th century Muslim invader Kalapahad, originally the Hindu general Rajib Lochan Ray, before converting to Islam. He allegedly destroyed Konark and other Hindu temples in his attacks. While the true reasons behind the temple's damage and missing idol remain contested mysteries, there are accounts of encountering supernatural spirits on the premises. Figures of dancing girls that used to perform rituals in the temple have been glimpsed and heard by nighttime visitors among the atmospheric ruins. Despite studies trying to unravel Konark's Sun Temple's secrets, the theories remain inconclusive. While the mysteries continue to inspire imagination, one can still admire the magnificent artistry and architecture of this ornate monument. The magnificent Brihadiswarar Temple in Thanjavur stands as the crowning architectural achievement of the 11th century Chola dynasty rule. Built by the devout Shaivite king Raja Raja Chola the Frun, this UNESCO World Heritage Site continues to intrigue visitors today with numerous structural and artistic marvels defying explanation. Underneath the temple complex lies a mysterious network of secret underground tunnels and passages, leading to various destinations around Thanjavur and beyond. While their purpose remains unclear, historians believe this served as an elaborate defense mechanism. Of the hundreds of pathways, some lead to treacherous spots and were sealed for safety. 
the towering 216-foot Raja Gopuram itself presents an engineering wonder. At the very top sits an 80-ton heavy stone, whose transportation and installation technique on the summit continues to puzzle modern engineers. Additionally, the tower's geometric perfection ensures its shadow never falls on the ground. The entire hollow temple structure stands sturdily without any binding agent between the interlocked stones, having weathered both natural and political tumults over ten centuries. A small inner staircase leads to the tower top, where chanting Om resonates profoundly within the hollow interior space. The source of the granite used in the temple's construction also raises questions, as no such stones are found locally in the region's red soil. The intricate carvings and holes bored into these hard granite pieces likely required advanced tools unavailable in that era. The exceptionally durable paintings from a millennium ago retain their vibrant hues inside. Another mystery lies in the growing Nandi statue that had to be nailed down to control its size, which contrasts with the current monolithic version installed. While many of Brihadiswarar temple's architectural and artistic oddities may never be fully explained, they underscore the remarkably sophisticated Dravidian and Chola design achievements of ancient India. Nestled in the village of Lepakshi, Andhra Pradesh, stands the glorious 16th-century Virabhadra Temple, a Vijayanagara architectural masterpiece carved from stone. Built on Kurma Silam, meaning Tortoise Hill in Telugu, the shrine's regal columns, ceilings and walls display exquisite carvings and vivid frescoes. According to legends, the sage Agastya himself founded the Virabhadra Temple. The main deities worshipped here include Ganesha, Nandi, Virabhadra, Shiva, Bhadrakali, Vishnu, and Lakshmi. Mythology also suggests this hill marks where the brave bird Jatayu fell after battling Ravana to rescue Sita. Lord Rama then compassionately said, Lepakshi, rise bird, which led to the spot's naming. A footprint believed to be Sita's adorns the premises as well. Wandering through the temple interiors transports visitors back to the erstwhile Vijayanagara glory. Sculpted musicians and saints line the pillars, along with the dancing Ganesha, Parvati, and Shiva images. A cave chamber also exists where Agastya supposedly meditated. However, the temple's main highlight remains the fascinating hanging pillar that apparently defies gravity. This slender pillar has a barely visible gap between its base and the temple floor. Gidis thrill tourists by sliding objects underneath to prove a no visible support exists. Out of the temple's seventy pillars, this one triggers the most awe and appreciation of ancient engineering feats. Legend goes that during British rule, an engineer unsuccessfully tried shifting the pillar to uncover its secret. Neither his curious attempt nor later efforts have managed to elucidate the intellectual mystery of its perfect suspension. The Lepakshi Virabhadra Temple truly epitomizes India's archaeological and artistic brilliance. The ancient Sri Padmanabhaswami Temple in Thiruvananthapuram, Kerala traces its origins back to 500 BC. Built in a blend of Kerala and Dravidian architectural styles, it is one of the 108 Divya Desams, the most revered Vishnu temples mentioned in scriptures by Tamil saints. The temple is dedicated to Lord Vishnu, specifically in his Anantha Padmanabha reclining form on the celestial serpent Anantha. Hence the city was named Thiruvananthapuram, meaning land of Lord Anantha Padmanabha. Controlled by the Travancore royals rather than the Kerala government, the temple harbors intriguing tales of elusive treasures and a binding curse. In 2011, the Supreme Court ordered an audit of the temple assets by a committee headed by former Comptroller and Auditor General Vinod Rai. This publicly unearthed the presence of six enormous underground vaults labeled A to F that contained unimaginable quantities of gold, diamonds, antiques and other valuables worth over INR 100,000 crore. Vault A itself housed gold coins, jewelry encrusted with precious gems, golden idols, diamond necklaces and more antique riches in copper pots and baskets. Estimates suggest over 1,000 kilos of gold accumulated from centuries of donations. However, the most enigmatic Chamber B, housing the real treasures as per legends, remains unopened. Chamber B is protected by two heavy doors with carvings warning outsiders to keep off. It is believed to contain thick golden walls, solemnly sealed using the Nagapasam mantra by temple priests to save the tree sore from malicious intentions. 
opening B could unleash an ancient cursor upon the kingdom as per Hindu faith. While five of the six vaults have been inventoried, Chamber B's contents remain a mystery. The Travancore royals cite divine wrath to forbid its opening by authorities. Adding to the intrigue are contrasting reports of Chamber B's access over the years. Nonetheless, the Padmana Baswami Temple's opulent vaults offer a glimpse into history while keeping their most precious secrets hidden. Nestled amidst the Ellora Caves in Maharashtra stands the magnificently carved Kailasa Temple, the world's largest monolithic structure. Architectural grandeur fuses with intriguing myths around this 8th century temple, hewn from a single volcanic granite rock. Built by the Rashtrakuta King Krishna the Firms, the temple involved excavating over 200,000 tons of granite to sculpt this finely detailed tribute to Lord Shiva. What makes it uniquely wondrous is its construction method top-down instead of bottom-up. Legend goes that when Krishna the Fry fell critically ill, his wife prayed to Shiva, vowing to observe fasting until a South Indian abode was built for the deity. As the king recovered, the architect Kokasa suggested a loophole, finishing the Shikara, dome. First would technically complete the temple to install Shiva's idol and save the queen, and thus, the magnificent Shikara came up first. Spanning 160 ft in area and 100 ft in height, the Kailasa Temple is a breathtaking three-dimensional depiction of Mount Kailash, the home of Lord Shiva. Intricately chiseled out of the monolith are sculptures, finely carved windows, underground tunnels, hidden passages, stairways connecting multiple levels, and more. The temple layout adheres to ancient Hindu Vastu principles, with features representing various elements like the soul energy centers of the body and feet. That artisans uniformly created this structural marvel over at least 135 years makes it even more remarkable. The perfectly engineered Kailasa temple combines architectural grandeur, religious sanctity, intriguing myths, and sublime artistry into one impressive monument. It rightfully claims its fame as the showpiece Ellora Cave 16, drawing historians, artists, and devotees alike. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, we'd appreciate your support by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel.